Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kieran. So I am just going to start this video really quick. Um, I have this video listed as a thrift with me and thrift haul video, but I wanted to take a second and talk with you guys, just like a quick life update about how everything's been going and where I've been. Um, I did take a bit of a break from YouTube and I think I shared recently that I just haven't really been feeling great. Um, I'm working through a possible new diagnosis of a new mental health diagnosis that still is um, sort of up in the air, but um, I think we're looking more closely at what I'm struggling with being this one diagnosis. And I just want to wait to talk about it with you guys until I have like a formal diagnosis. Um, so I've been, you know, doing different things for that. I've been trying a new medication um, and things have been going pretty well. Um, aside from like physically being sick. So I have been having a lot of issues with my sinuses recently. Um, I also shared in a video um, maybe about a month ago or so, several weeks ago, that I was having problems with my sinuses and I have still been having these problems with my sinuses. Um, good news though, I went to have a CT. Well, good news and not good news. I mean, it, it's it's good news. Let me explain. So um, the ENT referred me to have a CAT scan of my of my sinuses and <coughs> sorry and when I had that test done it showed that my sinuses um, have filled back up if you guys haven't seen the other video I'll also make sure to include that video here so you guys know what I'm talking about but um, I have I have fluid filled cysts in my sinuses and I had a procedure that um, reduced the fluid in one of the cysts because it was the one cyst was taking up most of my sinus cavity um, and so about four years ago, I had a procedure that reduced the, the fluid in my sinus, but that has since filled back up. The, the um, CAT scan showed that that has filled back up um, to the point where it was before, not any bigger than it was before. So I had a follow-up with my um, ENT last week, and I was expecting him to say that we were going to have to proceed with surgery to remove the cyst. Um, but actually, he said that he thinks at this point, it's really up to me and like what I want to do. If I want to, like, he doesn't feel that surgery is necessary at this point, which is amazing. I'm so thankful for that. Um, he's saying more like, let's try to keep, like, allergies and all of that kind of stuff calm and see if maybe we can just keep the cyst happy as it is. Um, because I guess what can happen is these cysts can, like, really start to damage, like, your face and your eye socket and things like that. But um, mine is not at that point yet, so... At this point, he just kind of wants to see if we can control everything with like um, allergy medications and um, like a nasal type spray type thing. Um, seeing Just seeing if we can get everything under control and just sort of leave the cyst as it is for now. And then if it gets bigger, if it starts causing me more pain, things like that, um, look into it more, more um, from there. Because for like the past month and a half, I have continually had issues with my sinuses, a sore throat, everything. And it's, you know, it is spring here and the, you know, the flowers are blooming and everything. And I never really have an issue with like seasonal allergies. I do have some allergies, but not, not anything like seasonally, but oh my gosh, this is, this is crazy. Um, I've lost my sense of taste and smell three times. Um, right now it's starting to come back a little bit, but, um, you know, and just being like so uncomfortable in my face and in my like in my um, sinuses and everything. So luckily, I feel like I'm starting to get better from that. I'm going to be taking some medication and, and working on that. Um, but the best news is that I don't need surgery. So I'm really, really grateful for that. Um, at some point, if I need it, I understand like it's it's what happens. It is what it is. But um, I'm, I'm grateful that he's choosing to be more like not patient, but just like a wait and see kind of look about it because it's not at like a, a serious point where it needs to be removed. So yeah, those are like the big things that have been going on. I've really been focusing on my mental health and also on my physical health. And I just needed a break from like social media and stuff like that. I just needed some time to just, you know, relax and just get better because I've just been so sick, especially with this sinus stuff. I've been really, really sick. So, um, I felt like I wanted to pick up the camera today and talk with you guys and I feel good about that. And so I have a ton of videos that I've filmed over the past six months that I just haven't shared. And so I really want to sh um, start sharing those things with you. So I figured I would just do like a little life update, talk with you guys before the, the thrift with me in the haul footage. 
you might find some of the footage has snow in it. Honestly, that's how long it's been um, since I haven't really shared videos. And also, I want to start sharing like a little bit of a home renovation thing with you guys because this week we are having a really fun and exciting house project starting. So I'm really excited about that. Um, something that we desperate need, desperately needed to get done. Um, but yeah, so that's all for the life update. Just wanted to chat with you guys, let you know what's going on. Now let's jump right into the rest of the video with a thrift with me and a thrift haul. All right, so we are on our way to the second thrift store. I'm just talking to the video. Um, I'm realizing I'm trying to film better for you guys, but I think I was able to film a couple clips in a little bit of a better way, but I'm gonna try a different style when I'm in here. I just keep on forgetting. Like, I just wanna like show you everything at once. So let's go inside. What is it? It's a fucking journal in it. Oh, that's pretty. And it has ties. That is pretty. Yeah. Do you see this? Hi, chicken. <laughs> Creepy. A little creepy. Boston Red Sox. A uh, game. Ah. It looks like it's made out of plastic. Maybe. Do you think it is? Is it? Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's a bank. Oh. Missing its stopper, but yeah. And then what are these over here? And these little. Oh my gosh, mom! Look at all the. They're little um, characters. Like, I think I see Snow White. Oh, there's Aladdin. Little, I don't know what that is. Aww, those are so cute. I like the Aladdin one. I've never seen something like, like that. You see, it's got the carpet. Uh -huh. Oh, that's so cool. That's kind of cool. Oh, oh it's, it's moves. It moves. Oh, look at those, too. Yeah, that's actually what I was going for. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's a lot of colored pencils. <laughs> Yellow, green, and pink is $1.49. Aw. Those are cool, too. I like you. But no size. Why are there no sizes on anything? Oh, eight. Too big for me. Oh, mom, look at these. These are like Christmas sneakers. Ugh. What? You don't like them? No. Can you believe I'm touching shoes right now? Nope. <laughs> I might get those. I like those too. Turn the lamp on. The light comes through like windows. Lots of games. So I found a lot of great stuff and I just love taking you guys thrifting with me. And I would like to just jump right into this haul and share with you what I found. So the items that I found are interesting. I feel like they're really unique and I think you guys are gonna think they're pretty cool. So let's start with this. This is something I bought for Sean and I hope that he can use this in the basement. So I found these super cool lampshades and they're supposed to look like a city skyline. And what's really cool about them, I'll try to use my phone flashlight, is that the um, windows are actually, the light will shine through them. So I wanna see if I can show that to you. So it might be hard to see, but like here's my flashlight right there behind it. Can you guys kind of see the difference? So it almost looks like the lights are shining on the city. And so it will be like a really cool effect at night when um, he has just these lamps on downstairs with using these lampshades. 
I just think they're so cool. And I found two of them. This one is pretty, pretty clean on the inside. The other one, it just looks like it, like maybe a soda had spilled or something, or, or I don't know, like maybe somebody like shook a soda and then it kind of like, like sprayed soda all over the place and got inside the lampshade. There's something in it that I need to clean out, but luckily these are kind of like coated on the inside, so it shouldn't be too hard. And these were only $3. There also was a little bit of damage like right here. I might just need to take a little, little tiny bit of hot glue or something to kind of try to keep that on. Um, but I think they're really cool. It kind of reminds me of Frasier, you know, like the, um, the intro to Frasier where they draw the skyline. Um, I just think that's really, really cool. So I'm so excited to have found these. And these were $4 and half off, I believe, and I got two of them. So I'm gonna share my favorite find with you at the end. But now I'm going to share with you some stuff that I found at this really cool thrift store um, that I didn't even realize was open that often. It's inside of a church and I didn't really know much about it. I have gone a few times during like a village-wide sale, but not any time separately. But somebody recently shared like the thrifting page on Facebook and, or no, they shared in like a community events page, they shared the hours of, of operation for this store. They're open three days a week. They're open one evening during the week, one day during the week, and then one morning during the weekend. So like a really good variety of times that they're open. And so now that I know they're there, I kind of think I want to go all the time. Um, I found a lot of cool stuff. So the first thing I found is this really interesting necklace. It was $4. And I'm kind of nervous. Oh, you know, you know what I'm noticing? It's broken. Bummer. At first I thought it was going to be fine, but you know, I'm noticing that now it's broken, but it's supposed to kind of just like sit on your neck like that, but I'm finding that it's broken now. So then I found several books. Actually, you know what? I'm going to separate these into, I found a bunch of books, but I also found a bunch of coloring books and I am so excited to share I'm really excited to share the coloring books with you guys because there are some real amazing ones in there. So let me start by sharing the books with you. All right, so all of the books, I think it was like fill a bag for a dollar for a lot of the stuff. The first one I got is this book called Smelly Socks by Robert Munch. And I just found this book in Spanish, which is so cool that I found it in English now. And I have, um, there are several different books on the back. So I got that for my classroom. Then I found some really fun Rugrats books. I thought that was really cool. Then I found a little Muppet Babies book, which was so cute. Or they're calling it Muppet Kids. She kind of, I was gonna say, it kind of looks like Muppet Babies, but Piggy's a little bit older. Oh, it's so cute. Then my mom found this book. It's called Jingle Bell Mice. It's just a really cute little Christmas story. I found this one. I love Richard Scary. I think the illustrations are so cute. And it's called Richard Scary's Things to Love. So sweet. Then we found a Blue's Clues book. Super fun. And I also found this really cute Halloween Cats book. I just thought that was a really fun illustration. Um, I love Halloween books. Look at how cute that is. I just love, 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 love finding books like that. And then I found a an I Spy book. I love collecting I Spy books for my classroom. I have quite the collection already, and I I don't think I have this one, but now I'm kind of looking at it. I'm like, maybe I do. It's it's oops, I hit the camera. It's okay if I do. All right, guys, are you ready to see? I still have like one other thing to show you after this, but let me share with you the amazing collection of coloring books I found. These are all of the coloring books I found, all of the vintage coloring books, and you guys are going to be amazed. So let's start. The first one is a deluxe coloring book, golden book, Simba, and it's just called, oh, it's just called The Lion King. This was made in, I'm always sad when they don't have a year. There is no year on it, but Lion King book, super cute. Then I found this Aladdin coloring book. I wonder if there's a year on this one. 1992 so this one was made in 92. I got this for Sean I thought he would want it um but he said he didn't actually watch this. This is Power Rangers Wild Force. I don't know when this was popular. Let me see when it was made. 2003. Then I found a Barbie coloring book. I always thought these were really fun. Um it says check out Barbie online so 
not too old, but let's see if we can find the year. 1997 and 2002 for this one. Here is another Barbie book. Oh, it's so cute. Let's see if we can find a year. I want to do like a color with me series, like maybe do like YouTube lives and color and talk with you guys. It'd be really fun. And I found another Rose Art coloring book. I shared with you guys a Rose Art book recently. Um, and again, this one is from 94. <laughs> it's so funny. This, these are some of the pictures that are on the inside. I just thought it was really cool. Then a Bambi coloring book as well. I just always love finding these coloring books. And then my two favorite coloring books that I found. If you want to try to guess what they are, pause the video, leave a comment below, tell me what you think, what the theme of them is, but I think you guys might be able to figure them out really quick. I found two vintage Lisa Frank coloring books. Oh my goodness. I am so excited. They're not, I don't think they're that old, but I want to try to tell you, they're de definitely not like new, new. I don't see a year on them, unfortunately. Oh wait, 2000. So not super new, but not super, super old, but it's featuring the cats mainly, I think. It's so cute. I want to show you a picture, like a connect the dots with the cats. So much fun. It says perfect playtime, activity tablet, fun set, cool stickers inside. No, the stickers are gone. Oh, I see where the stickers were, but they are gone. And I don't think there are stickers in the other one. It's two of the same. Bummer, they took out the stickers. <laughs> so those are all of the coloring books that I found. And now I would like to share with you one more item that it's a little bit bigger and I'm really excited to get to use this um, as like a retro review video for you guys. Maybe use this with my niece and nephew. Maybe use it in my classroom once I see how it works. Um, let me take the camera and I will share with you the last amazing item that I found. So this is the last item I would like to share with you for this thrift haul. It is something called Casey the Kinderbot Learning System and it's from Fisher Price. I was able to find that this was made in 2002. I think there are newer versions of this as well. This one is new in the package. It was listed at $40 at the thrift store, but it was actually half off because it was a green tag and green tag was half off. But look at how absolutely amazing this is. And what's really cool about this is you can actually open the box right here and look at the robot. How cool is this robot? I'm so excited to use this. It looks like it does so many different things. Um, as far as I can tell, it's never been used, it's never been opened, but I could see this being really fun for my niece and nephew to use and to play with. Um, so here are some of the different games that it has, but I thought that this could be a great like Teaching Tuesday video or a retro review video. Um, I just think it's really a, a unique find. Oh, the, you know, the only thing I'm noticing, it does have some of those um, little like straps removed, so maybe it was actually used but just kept in the original box. I don't know, we'll have to find out. So I'm so excited to share this and try it and share it with my niece and nephew. I think it's going to be really fun. And that's it for this thrift haul and shop with me video. Thank you so much for watching. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite find was from this haul. And also let me know, would you guys like to see some videos of me like crafting live? Like I was thinking about doing some YouTube live videos where maybe I do like a color with me or a craft with me with like a vintage item or like a Dollar Tree craft with me, thrift with, like a thrift store craft with me, let me know. I would really love to maybe do some live videos. I think that could be really fun. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.